Hi, this is Schieffer's Magic Alcove, and I'm Schieffer Bradigan. So today I'm going to share with you a guided meditation based on the ritual of the Lesser Banishing of the Pentagram, which is a ceremonial magician's ritual. Uh, when we were working together with a larger group of people, um, I asked my husband if he would turn that particular ritual into a meditation that we could do um, for people who weren't as familiar with some of the principles of ceremonial magic. And so this is our result of that. The purpose, is, the purpose of this particular meditation is to help you become attuned to the larger parts of yourself, um, the idea of being a deity, um, and relating to the entire universe and all the spirit beings that inhabit it from that perspective. So we will be using the different um, invoking pentagrams or evoking pentagrams, if you remember what those are. If not, when you're doing them in your mind, just do whatever comes naturally and then later as you gain more experience or knowledge or decide that that's what you want to do with the meditation, then you can modify that as you go. Um, we will also be having uh, the six-pointed star above us and below us instead of the five-pointed star. And if you're uncomfortable with that, you can always modify that as well. Uh, but that's what will be in the meditation for now. And instead of using the um, usual archangels to represent the four elements. I wanted to use a, an older form or a different form of the elemental heads. So you'll be hearing about Peralda, who is the elemental head of air, Jin, who is the elemental hair, air, excuse me, the elemental head of fire, um, Nixa, who is the elemental head of water, and Gobe, who is the elemental head of earth. And that was for me. That's what I wanted to work with. Certainly people can use the archangels if that's what they're familiar with, but that won't be in this particular guided meditation. You can always write it all down and make up your own and do it that way. Um, so I think as far as explanations are concerned, there's not as much to explain ahead of time for this one because the idea is you're going to be trying to get as focused inside of yourself as you can and visualize the various uh, properties and states of existence and so forth as we go through it. So I guess we'll just begin and see how this goes. So find yourself a comfortable place to sit as with all the other meditations. And it's probably best if you can sit in a chair with your feet flat on the floor, um, just because I have mine angled bent so that the paper doesn't wash out the video and so I don't have to turn my head down so much when I'm trying to read this. So I have it printed up so I don't forget what to do. So I want you to close your eyes and take a couple of uh, centering breaths about three of them. So breathe in deeply and then release that. And with each breath, let yourself get in to a more relaxed state of mind. And just try and center and ground yourself and be in the moment as much as you can. And then start to visualize the words. So thou art huge, enormous, Above thy head is an enormous globe of pure light swirling in a clockwise direction. As it swirls, it pulls in clear, pure, perfect light from the entire universe. A beam comes forth and enters the top of your head, filling your head with light. This light fills you with enlightenment, making you all-knowing. 
feel yourself so. Feel that this allows you to have complete control of the air element. The light shoots down further throughout your body, through your feet. It flows into the earth, providing enlightenment to all beings there. As if in response to the light energy flowing into the earth, the earth makes you immortal. Meditate on being immortal. Now realize that you have complete control of the earth element. From the center of your chest, where your heart chakra is, the light streaming into you from above divides and flows out to the right, to the very ends of the universe, providing light to all beings there. As if in response, the universe gives you omnipotence or the all power of God. Realize that this all power also grants you complete control over the element of fire. The light divides again at your heart chakra, flowing out the left side of you to the ends of the universe, enlightening all beings there. In response to this, the universe makes you into a being of infinite energy, infinite mercy, and love. As a result of this infinite mercy, you can now completely control the element of water. The light beam divides one more time, flowing from your heart chakra before and behind you to the ends of the universe. This, combined with the light already flowing from you, makes you fill the universe in all directions, now being infinitely large, in fact being all things, immortal, all-knowing, all-powerful, omnipresent, you exist. Now back to yourself, but still containing and in command of all these things the light has given you. Since the light flows through you, you can use it to form the shape of a pentagram to the east. Imagine this pentagram gives you the authority to command all the forces of the east. Pull in the air element from the east strongly and imagine it penetrating <clears throat> yourself completely as a strong wind. As it blows through you, it blows away all impurities and negative things within you. If you wish to purify the area, you can have it blow through all the objects, blowing away all of their impurities. In your imagination, form a pentagram to the south and pull in the fire element. As the fire element rushes through you, it burns away all impurities. And again, if you wish to purify the area, you can have 
the fire element burn away the impurities of any objects in the room. Now form a pentagram in the west. And imagine that this pentagram gives you the authority to command all the forces of the West. Pull in the water element and feel the water washing over you. As the water washes through you, it streams away all impurities within you. And if you wish to purify the objects in the room, you can imagine the water washing through them and removing their impurities as well. Then form a pentagram to the north and pull in the earth element. Imagining it penetrating yourself completely, absorbing and scrubbing away all impurities as it passes through you. And if you wish, you can allow it to continue on into your space and absorb and scrub away all impurities of the objects around you. Above you and below you, imagine a hexagram formed of two triangles, one red, one blue. Now form an imaginary circle through the center of the pentagrams surrounding you. Imagine strongly that this circle and pentagrams form an impregnable barrier for your protection and that no negative influences can enter. Symbolically, as the center of the circle, you represent a deity in the center of the universe. As a deity, of course, lesser spirits would not dare to attempt to harm you. As deity, remember, you have control over the elements and thus naturally rule the elemental beings. Imagine calling to the head of the elemental beings of air, Peralda, who appears in front of you outside the pentagram of the east. Enormous, powerful, dressed in flowing yellow robes and brandishing a sword, this holy being stands guard over you. Then call to the head of the elemental beings of fire, Jin, who appears in front of you, outside the pentagram of the south. Enormous, powerful, dressed in flowing red robes and brandishing a wand, this holy being stands guard over you. Then call to the head of the elemental beings of water, Nixa, who appears in front of you outside the pentagram of the west. Enormous, powerful, dressed in flowing robes of blue-green and holding an ornate cup, this holy being stands guard over you. Then call to the head of the elemental beings of earth, Go, who appears in front of you outside the pentagram of the earth, enormous, powerful, dressed in flowing robes of brown and holding a shield, this holy being stands guard over you. Once more, visualize yourself surrounded by the four guardians and protected by the pentagrams. Standing in the circle as deity, 
absolutely nothing can harm you. Thou art huge, enormous. Above thy head is an enormous globe of pure light swirling in a clockwise direction. As it swirls, it pulls in clear, pure, perfect light from the entire universe. A beam comes forth and enters the top of your head, filling your head with light. This light fills you with enlightenment, making you all-knowing. Feel yourself so. Feel that this allows you to have complete control of the air element. The light shoots down further throughout your body, through your feet. It flows into the earth, providing enlightenment to all beings there. As if in response to the light energy flowing into the earth, the earth makes you immortal. Meditate on being immortal and realize that you now have complete control of the earth element. Now from the center of your chest where your heart chakra is, the light streaming into you from above divides and flows out to the right to the very ends of the universe, providing light to all beings there. As if in response, the universe gives you omnipotence or the all power of a God. Feel this and realize that this all power also grants you complete control over the element of fire. The light divides again at your heart chakra, flowing out the left side of you to the ends of the universe, enlightening all beings there. In response to this, the universe makes you into a being of infinite mercy and love. As a result of this infinite mercy, you can now completely control the element of water. The light beam divides one more time, flowing from your heart chakra before and behind you to the ends of the universe. This, combined with the light already flowing from you, makes you fill the universe in all directions, now being infinitely large, in fact being all things, immortal, all-knowing, all-powerful, omnipresent, you exist. Let yourself sit in this state for a little while, breathing in and breathing out. And then gently come back to the present moment, to your body and where you are, and open your eyes. So this is an exercise that you can do on a daily basis if you want to. You can do this before you do the sacred tree meditation and the healing chant, or you can do it by its own. It stands alone. So I hope you have enjoyed this little journey. And this is Schieffer's Magic Alcove, and I'm Schieffer Bradigan. Blessed be.